Welcome to Ridge Top Survival. I'm Squirrel. This time, I'm going to show you the Anbu Flint Magnesium uh, Ferro Rod. Uh, it's the cheapest ferro rod I've ever bought. I bought it for 99 cents on Amazon. And we're going to test it out, see how it does. Also, brought my light my fire that you seen in the first episode in case it don't go well. So, this rod right here is mostly magnesium. The big part of it is magnesium. And then there's like maybe uh, an eighth of an inch on top, another rod inlaid into magnesium. And that's your, uh, your ferro rod. I'll show you. Maybe. One good strike. Here we go. The striker on this is real flimsy. I don't like it. It's real awkward. Uh, you can't really use the. Well, I guess you can. It doesn't really work as well if you use it on the side. You gotta use the top. I just don't like it. Uh, cheap nylon rope holding it both together. Uh, but what really do you expect for 99 cents? Uh, we're gonna test it with a few of the tenders we've always used. We got dryer lint. Jute twine, and then some of my sawdust and Vaseline mixture. So see how we do. All right. Also, we're going to use the magnesium. See how that works. All right. So let's go ahead. I'm going to try jute twine. You see it good? See one good strike. I actually started off first strike, not bad. And we're done. Okay. Huh? I'm surprised actually it worked pretty good. Let's go ahead and try dryer lint. G twine always goes up fast. Need some fibers in there tear it apart a little bit a lovely wife gathered this up for me here we go one good strike wait up the side my bad here we go nope Get right in there a little bit. took a while but it still got started still keep real warm off that Go ahead and throw some sticks on there and then throw you some logs, you'll be good. And let that burn off. Let's go ahead and keep talking about this. It's cheap plastic, glued in. It's actually pretty sturdy. I like that. I can't wiggle it at all, and I'm pretty I'm decently strong. The only thing I really hate about this is the striker. I don't like it at all. I don't like you see how uh, it's serrated on the on the edge well uh, look on the striker of this light my fires uh, there's no serrated edge at all and it works amazing I'm thinking when we try the other mixture I'm gonna use this striker and we'll see the difference on how they work if it works better if it works worse we'll see all right that's gone yeah nice and smoky Alright, now we got, ooh, pan's pretty warm. Alright, so, use the light my fire striker, spare rod, see if this will light. not lighting it that could just be the mixture it's kind of cantankerous what I'm gonna do is cut some more jute twine see how that works as you seen like in a previous video I used a lighter to light this mixture and that's just because I didn't want to fool around lighters are so much easier let's put just a little bit on there that should catch it real good all right 
So again, looks like my fire striker and boo ferro rod. Let's try it out. There we go. One good strike. Let's see if that'll catch it. There we go. We got fire. And that's going to burn a while. Vaseline and this type of board. It's just a particle board. It's already got glue in it, so it's going to burn for a good long while. Let's see if I can blow it out. There we go. It's pretty smoky. All right. I think it worked better with the Swedish Light My Fire. Way more sparks. Show you the difference here. I just like it better, but I also paid way more for this. This would be your cheap, you know, if you're bugging out on a budget, this would be the rod to go with, I suppose. All right, smoke is cleared. We're gonna try the uh, magnesium. I'm just gonna go ahead. I really hate this. Okay, scrape some of that magnesium off. Nice good strips of it. There we go. I guess it is beneficial that uh, it comes with its own tinder. The magnesium burns very quickly. What it likes to do is crumble up and burn into a ball. Let me get some more in there. I don't think that's enough. Good thing there's a lot here. Alright. So, bought this on Amazon and it never said how many strikes it's good for. So, that little rod, I'm guessing you'd have to engineer it yourself. You know, pull it out, twist it around. That way you get to use the whole rod because I don't know if y'all can see, but um, there's maybe like two baseball cards thick of what you're able to actually strike there and there's no real way other than to destroy it to get it out anyway let's go ahead and try to light this magnesium oh ah, fuck it up. here we go here we go did what it's supposed to do it's a quick little ember. You got to be quick with that. But it did work. I mean, that's what matters. So, my final word about this is it's not my favorite. Obviously, light my fires way better. But for 99 cents, it's not bad. It's not terrible. It'll keep you alive. Uh, yeah, I have nothing else to say about this. I'm definitely thinking about changing up that striker. I know you can buy strikers by themselves, maybe like five, ten piece on Amazon. I think that's what I'll do. Anyhow, hope you like that. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment if you have any suggestions what we should do a video for next. Uh, I'm Squirrel, and I'll see you next time.